Hi, Aletha here with Create Your Future. Neville Goddard says that imagination is everything and that we should imagine the absolute best for ourselves. And we're gonna talk about that today. But first, I wanna remind you of some courses that I have. Um, one that's just been released, The Key to Manifesting Quickly. Anti-aging and the law of assumption, turning back your biological clock. Manifesting your relationship with an age gap. Full proof, get your SP back and manifesting exactly what your heart desires. And then to also remind you that I do one-on-one -on -one coaching and I would love to work with you. And so if you have any questions about this video or anything in your life, I am more than happy to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. That is such a joy for me. And then to remind you too, if you like this video and if it speaks to you and uh, empowers you and inspires you, then to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. I love to read your comments. Thank you. All right. So imagination is everything. Your imagination is always being used. Our words create imaginal um, images images in our mind. So you are seeing things. If you are a person who doesn't imagine easily, and I've had people tell me that it's just blank, this is still a good video for you because you need to know that you have to think thoughts that stay in line with what it is your heart desires. And imagining something stays in line. Even if you don't see anything, imagine, go through a storyline in your mind of what it is you want to experience. And if you don't see images, that's okay. You're still creating out of that. You're still having that be pushed out of you and then reflected back as your new 3D reality. So, imaginal scenes, how do you create them? You decide what it is you want. Know exactly what you want. Be specific on that. I can never say that. I always can say specific. <laughs> anyway, so be precise. That's a, that's a good word for me. Be precise. And when you are precise, then you know exactly what it is that you want. And you're gonna do this from the end of already having it. So if you're interested in having perfect health, you're doing it from feeling perfectly well and healthy and happy. Doing it with getting your SP back, your specific person back, you're doing it from um, maybe um, a one year anniversary or something where the two of you are together, happily loving one another. Okay, and so it has to be from the end of whatever it is that you want, having that from the end, the wish fulfilled. All right, so then you create this five to seven imaginal scene from the end of already having what it is your heart desires, and you live that with vivid, vividly, you, with all your senses, and you feel it, and you give it all the tones of what Neville says, reality, and only five to seven seconds long, and then you, you immerse yourself in that. And as you go through your day then, once you've come out of that imaginal scene, because you get drowsy first, and kind of like go into an alpha and theta state, and once you're in that drowsy state, you go into your imaginal scene, you live it, live it vibrantly, and experience to the fullest, and then when you've come out of that, you have to support it with your inner conversations and your intentions and your assumptions and what meaning are you applying to the things in your life? Are those meanings in alignment with what you want? If you are wanting someone to treat you better than they are, are you walking around thinking and saying to yourself or assuming that they always treat you a certain way, that they always treat you disrespectfully, or they always, um, or the people just don't hear me when I talk? If you're assuming that, if that's the meaning you are giving to things, then that's what's going to show up. But if your imaginal scene is saying that everyone is constantly aware of you and constantly hanging on every word you say and constantly wanting to be with you and care about you and respect you, you have to have that, that, if that's your imaginal scene, then you have to have your language outside of that imaginal scene be in alignment with that and your assumptions and the meaning that you are giving things so that you're going to give the meaning to that person that you feel disrespects you, that they do respect you, they do love you, they always hear everything you have to say. You are heard, you are seen, and you are loved. And you live from that state of being 
And when you do that, that's what's being pushed out of you and will reflect it back. You can push out all the negative stuff you know because you're experiencing it. So why can't you push out the positive stuff? You can. It's a matter of disciplining your mind. Your mental activity is so important. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? What are your imaginal scenes? What meaning are you giving to things? They all have to be in alignment with what you're desiring to experience in your 3D from something or someone. So in a nutshell, you simply decide what it is you want, know exactly what that is, create an imaginal scene of having that wish fulfilled from the end of it, having it. You have it now, and that's what you're experiencing in this imaginal scene, five to seven seconds long. And then when you come out of that, you support all of that with your imaginal, you support the imaginal scene, I mean, with your inner conversations with your assumptions about everything and everyone. They have to be in alignment with the imaginal scene. And what meaning you're giving to things. Assign the meaning that is in alignment with what it is you want. You want respected and loved, then you assign those people, those things, those situations, the meaning that they're gonna treat you with respect and you will get respected. That's the way it works. So our imagination creates our futures. It's everything according to Neville Goddard. Why not think from the best of having exactly what your heart desires? And if you do that, you are going to see your life change dramatically from where it is now to what it is that your heart truly desires. Blessings.